Hey sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. I am so pumped for this video. I recently ran in my favorite Dollar Trees and found some of the best new shocking finds. I rarely find this many new items at one time at Dollar Tree, so I was dying to share these with you all as fast as I could so that you could keep an eye out for these pieces and I want to share with you all how that I end up using them. So this video not only has a lot of the new Dollar Tree finds that you're going to be excited about, but also a ton of DIYs, so make sure you stay tuned to see how everything came out. The first product that I found that I was so excited about were these little greenery pots, or that's what the tag says, but they are these small little greenery faux plants in this burlap little piece of fabric. So I thought these were so incredible. I was so excited to find them. Dollar Tree always seems like they struggle whenever it comes to greenery, so whenever I found these, I definitely picked up a couple of each style. I know these are going to go super fast because I just love the little vines and greenery and like I said, people have trouble finding them at Dollar Tree. So if you see these, make sure you grab some. I They didn't even stand up very well by themselves, but I was just after the greenery piece. So I wanted to transplant them into a cute little planter. So I picked up this mercury um, glass planter. It kind of has some blue and gold on it, which was really pretty. And I feel like it would just give it a higher end look. So I hot glued the piece of styrofoam that was in the burlap down inside of this planter. And then I stuffed the sides with the burlap fabric that came on it. And this will just make sure that I don't waste so many rocks, um, but they'll be able to set closer to the top and then it won't take so many to fill this up. So I made it that first one, which I thought turned out really cute. And then I wanted to make like a farmhouse version. So I found one of these handmade, that's what it says on the jar, um, labeled jars, and I went ahead and did a couple coats of white chalk paint, screwed the lid back on there, which it is tight because of the paint, and then I was able to hot glue the plant down in there and distress the jar. So just for a couple of bucks to put together a fun faux plant, you always pay five to 15 bucks for any type of small faux plant. So I thought it was really fun to put this together and I am loving that greenery from Dollar Tree. Next up, I found like these epoxy or resin art pieces. Now the resin part is just like cardboard or the MDF that Dollar Tree puts on everything, but it was on this really cool little stand. So I had this really cool idea. I just recently picked up some fun signs from Dollar General and I wanted to put it on a stand to make it look a little bit nicer quality and just be a standalone piece. So something I wouldn't have to hang on the wall. So it's a perfect thing to do with these small signs because they do kind of look weird just hanging a, a sign that is way too small on the wall. So putting it on a stand like this will look really pretty on a table paired with maybe even our faux plants that we just made but I pulled off that top piece that large circular piece and you can save that for other projects and then I'm hot gluing the stand to the back of this sign I did use a couple of my tower blocks to make sure it had a little bit more extra surface area to hold to rather than just that thin dowel rod but I feel like this gave it a huge transformation just something really simple and easy like this just looks so beautiful and then like clustered together with other signs or plants or candles it'll just give it a really nice quality look but I love how this turned out I thought it was really fun to take that stand and you can even trade it out with some of Dollar Tree's canvases or even their small wall art the next thing I want to share was these adorable little ceramic cameras. I definitely had to grab these for my office and craft room. These are too cute whether you do do YouTube or a photographer or just any other day. It also would be really cute paired with a sign how they have the cute little develop from the negatives or I don't know just all of the cute photography little quotes but I wanted to give these a quick makeover so I decided to spray one black and this is something that I'll probably like actually decorate throughout my house with and then I sprayed one gold to go more with like my office and my YouTube filming room but these are adorable I actually grabbed five of them and I want to keep one the same color it was and I got one for my daughter but these are so so cute I love them so much and will be displaying them all over my house 
my Dollar Tree recently restocked all of these large chalkboards, so I grabbed a few more, and I they had a few different styles, so if you do want to use them as is, they are adorable, and something that really cute you can like pose with your baby or your kid, but I wanted to make like a larger piece because these are a really nice size for just a dollar, so I'm taking two of these chalkboards, I am gluing them together with popsicle sticks in the back, and then when I flip them around in the front, I'm going to be taking some of this like boho burlap ribbon that Dollar Tree has out, and I'm going to be covering all of the edges. And this will cover like the crack in the middle, as well as the little holes that they put for the jute twine at the top, but um, just covering all of the edging and going through the middle, and that also is dividing it up into two. And then I'll be taking my Cricut and writing to-do and reminders, and I'll be able to use this, whether it's in my office or my kitchen, but a really fun place to keep notes down so I can keep track of everything. When working with like frayed burlap like this, I always like to take my lighter and kind of singe off the extra hairs. It gives it more of like a finished look. And then, like I said, just cutting out to do and reminders. If you don't have a Cricut, Dollar Tree has tons of gorgeous stickers out right now. You can definitely just place them down and kind of Mod Podge over the top of them and they'll stay down. Just like writing to do, like it will still look really nice with Dollar Tree stickers. Just try to get them in a lighter color. And then I love Dollar Tree's chalk writer. So I was able to kind of fill this out with that. And then you can wipe it off with like a wet washcloth to reuse it. Life for me is so, so busy right now, juggling like chores and it's almost summer break and my YouTube channel and all of our appointments and it's just crazy. So if I do not write things down, I do not remember. So this is a perfect way to keep everything in one place and be able to easily remove it and update it all the time. How cute are these little mini tags with the chalkboard? They had several different styles and I thought these were really, really cute and had so much potential with the mini little chalkboard. So I wanted to give this a makeover. I am in love with hanging stuff off of my little farmhouse shelf in the kitchen. So I wanted to make a little menu board for that. So I pulled off the chalkboard. They were easily just to pop off. And then I am putting down some stick glue and some scrapbooking paper and smoothing that all nice and neat like so it doesn't have any wrinkles cutting that away and then using my sandpaper to make sure the edges are as perfect as I can get them and that will just give me the perfect little farmhouse background I love how this came together I glued down the little chalkboard and then I wanted some chunky little letters to glue at the top so I wouldn't have to kind of draw them or paint them on there so I picked these up at Hobby Lobby I love the little font of them they're really really cute so I spelled out menu painted that black so it would coordinate with the chalkboard and then glued them to the top. There's so many things you could write at the top if you wanted to kind of write something yourself up there. You could put like how many days until summer break, how many days until your vacation, or something really cute like that and make it like a countdown with the small little chalkboard. I think that would be really cute. But I replaced the little jute rope at the top and then using my paint marker, I kind of made some little swiggly lines around the edges just to give it a finished look and it'll coordinate. I love the white and black. I feel like it looks really, really pretty together. I love putting a couple of little dots in between the swirly lines and I just feel like that just pulls it together and gives it more of a cutesy look. Another really cool find that I picked up was this little silicone brush cleaner. Now these are always shown for like makeup brushes 
but I thought this was a really cool pattern and like silicone and it would wash my paintbrushes really nice. So all the time I'm going into the bathroom and I always wash out my paintbrushes on my hand. So it either sticks to my hand or it kind of gets stuck around the drain. So I thought this would be a really cool way to go ahead and water down and loosen up the bristles before it even makes it down the sink. So this worked really, really nicely. I feel like it worked a lot better than me kind of like turning the brush upside down and then like spreading all of my bristles out and cleaned it really well. You have to look in the office section at Dollar Tree. They are putting out the cutest new stationery and little calendars. I wanted to show you all these little number and letter magnets. I thought these would be too cute for little kids, whether that's on your fridge or how people make those like DIY oil pan um, hangers or like metal and magnetic so that you can stick those on there. But also one of my favorite finds was these calendars. These are weekly calendars and they have Monday through Friday and then the weekend and you can kind of list out what you need to get done. I love using paper like this because um, you definitely can just take like your pen and mark it out when it's done or highlight the most important parts, but it just gives you a nice visual of over the week and I am definitely a list person, so let me know if you are or not, but if I don't write everything down and I can't see what my week looks like, then I'm not gonna get anything done. So I definitely have to keep up with appointments and the videos that need to go out. It also has like a little uh, to-do list on the side so you can list out things you need to do that don't need to be done like on a certain day, but I just love having this. This is something you can hang up on your fridge. I keep a bulletin board in my kitchen so that I can kind of see everything that needs to get done that week, but definitely something I recommend and it's just so cool that Dollar Tree has these. I know we all love little mason jars. So Dollar Tree has out like 4th of July decor right now and little DIY projects. And one of them is this little mason jar uh, wind chime. So I am gonna be redecorating this into a wind chime for today's video. But how cute would these be painted to attach to a sign or make it standalone? Just these are adorable and have so much potential. So for this, I'm setting everything to the side. My girls will absolutely love the little extra paint and paintbrushes that it comes with but I am going to be painting this with a turquoise color. Now this is the Lagoon color by Waverly, and then I paint the top of the jar gray, and I found the most adorable little wall decals at the Dollar Tree, and this says be happy, but I'm just gonna steal one of the bees from the top to put in this mason jar. So like I said, there's so many things you could do with this. Just for this video, I wanted to keep it as a little whim chime so you can see how I made this over, but I cut out the little bee, um, and kind of pulled back the little plastic on the edges so that it wasn't just a big chunk of plastic, but I don't want that to show up, so I will take Mod Podge and cover over that. I added back in the little swirly so it looks like he was flying, and then um, just give it a little bit of extra detail along the edges, and then tying the wind chime back to the bottom. I felt like the blue alongside that beautiful blue color gave it the perfect little pop of color and looked really pretty for this summer. Dollar Tree has really been stepping up their game. They have so many new things out right now. I have another video coming up where I share some more brand new items. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a big thumbs up. Let me know what you're finding at Dollar Tree that I need to keep an eye out for. There was a lot of things that I haven't been able to find in the past and they had restocked, as well as some new flowers. I love these hanging vines and um, tons of graduating pieces that I feel like could be made over, but just a lot of potential and I was so excited to pick these up and share with you how I get to use them. Thank you all so much for coming along with me today and seeing everything I found at Dollar Tree and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye!